we're asked to determine the absolute extrema of the given function over the closed interval from negative nine to positive two. Because the given function is continuous over the closed interval, we are guaranteed to have an absolute maximum as well as an absolute minimum. To find the absolute max and mins, we evaluate the given function at the endpoints as well as the critical numbers. So let's begin by determining the critical numbers, which is where the derivative of the given function is equal to zero or undefined. So let's first find f prime of x. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of two x cubed, which is equal to six x squared, plus the derivative of 24 x squared, which is equal to 48 x, and then minus the derivative of 54 x, which is 54, and then plus the derivative of three, which is equal to zero. Notice how the derivative is a quadratic function, which is never undefined, and therefore the critical numbers occur where this first derivative is equal to zero. And therefore we solve the equation six x squared plus 48 x minus 54 equals zero. I think we can solve this by factoring. Notice six is a common factor, so if we factor out six, we're left with x squared. There are eight sixes in 48, so plus eight x. And there are nine sixes in 54, giving us minus nine. And now let's factor the trinomial. To factor the trinomial, because the first term is x squared, we have a factor of x in the first positions. For the second positions, we want the factors of negative nine that add to positive eight, which are positive nine and negative one. The values of x that make the derivative equal to zero are x equals negative nine or x equals positive one. So again, these are the critical numbers. So notice how negative nine is an endpoint and one is in the given interval. So now to find the absolute extrema, we need to evaluate the original function at x equals negative nine, x equals one, and x equals two. Again, we evaluate the original function at the endpoints as well as the critical numbers. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So just remember, we're evaluating the original function, not the derivative function. And now let's go to the calculator. F of negative nine equals 975. F of one equals negative 25. F of two equals seven. Let's go ahead and record these function values. Notice the least function value is negative 25, which is the absolute minimum, which occurs at x equals one. The greatest function value is 975, which is the absolute maximum, which occurs at x equals negative nine. Let's record the information below. This function has an absolute minimum value equal to negative 25 at x equals one. This function has an absolute maximum value equal to 975 at x equals negative nine. And before we go, let's verify this graphically. I've already graphed the given function over the closed interval from negative nine to positive two. Notice how the highest point on the function over this interval is this point here, where the y value or function value is 975, which verifies the absolute maximum. The lowest point on the graph over this interval is this point here, where the function value or y value is negative 25, which occurs at x equals positive one. This graph verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.